Marcus, when you guys have Roberto lined up for a field goal that's basically in this range, are you thinking that you, know, you survived the worst of it and that you're in a pretty good place at that point? Yeah, of course, um, we have faith in Roberto, no matter, I mean, of course he's not going to kick a field goal 100 yards, but, you know, if it's in, in manageable range, I, I mean, we have faith in him. And, I mean, it's just a misfortune that something like that happened. Marcus, it seemed like you guys played well defensively, except for a few plays. That's just how Georgia Tech plays. They, they pop a few big plays. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a few mistakes left out down the field. It's part of it. You can't go to sleep. You know, panic against Georgia Tech. They might run the same plays over and over. But then they come out with a, you know, a play that you're not expecting. And that's how they, they run the offense. And I guess you could say that that happened on the play. You know, maybe guys got out of the gap. It's just part of the game. You guys, it's been three years or something since you guys lost again in the regular season. How are guys handling it? How do you expect I mean, it, it, it sucks to lose. Nobody wants to lose. And, you know, guys are not used to losing. I mean, I've been here a few years. I, I mean, I've lost before. But some guys who's been here who haven't lost in college, period. But, I mean, you know, guys are kind of, you know, down. But, it, I mean, it's just part of it. You never, Nobody likes to lose, no matter whether you lose 50 games a season or no games. Every loss hurts and every loss sucks. And guys just kind of, you know, not happy about it. I mean, we just got to bounce back as a team. Have you ever played in a game, win or lose, with a finish like that before? Uh, to my with a field goal, blocking, all that. No, nah, I never played in a game like that. I've never been had, lost in a fashion like that. What did you see on that play? It looked like there was kind of some confusion. Maybe these guys having a hard time finding the ball. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess when the ball went behind the defense, I guess, you know, I don't know if guys knew that it was still alive or whatever it was. Just a misfortune, and then the guy that picked it up and just managed it, you know, score a touchdown. I don't know if guys just didn't know that it was still alive or, you know, thought that we were going to overtime, but. At that point, when you, when you got the ball, you know, Roberto goes to kick, and how confident are you? That he's gonna win that game. I mean, you're comf you're very confident because it's Roberto. I mean, we've seen him make you know a lot of field goals in a row, and we know he had a good leg, so you're very confident in your kicker. And, and it was just like I said, it was a misfortune. I mean, I'm sure if it wasn't blocked, I'm, I, there's no doubt in my mind that it would it would have went the length. Jimbo said that you guys maybe were worried more about winning. You forgot how to <clears throat> you forgot to just play. You feel like guys were pressing a little bit today. I mean, when when the score is close like that, it just kind of happens. I mean, it's just part of the game. You guys kind of pick up at the scoreboard to see, you know, we might be tied up, we might be down by three or up by three, and it's, you know, only a few minutes left in the game. But we just didn't finish as a team. How important is it to put behind you, turn your focus to Syracuse, move on to the next game, not letting one loss turn into two? It's very important. I mean, that game over now, there's nothing we can do about it. We just got to bounce back as a team. It's going to take the leaders on the team, me being a senior and other seniors, even some juniors, to step up and keep us together. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We still have what, five, six games left. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We just got to keep on winning.